I'd like to thank Research and Development Magazine for this prestigious award. I'm honored to join the ranks of Dr. Werner von Braun, William Lear, and many other great scientists on the 50th anniversary of this award. I'm humbled too because I am representing the hundreds of scientists who designed the experiments being done on ISS today, and in some cases, I'm the subject of these experiments. These experiments help us unlock secrets of medicine, chemistry, physics, materials, and engineering that are often hidden from us by Earth's gravity. I am now eight months into my long duration mission. This is a valuable research op opportunity because with current technology, the typical journey to Mars would take six to eight months each way. The more we learn about the effects of long duration spaceflight on, our, on the human body, the better we can prepare for a mission to Mars. And these experiments also help to improve medical care and life on Earth. The station also has taught us how to come together as an international community. We are now in our 15th year of continuous human presence aboard the space station. In that time, we have conducted more than 1,700 research studies from investigators in more than 83 different countries. From that, more than 1,200 scientific results and publications have been produced so far, and we know there is much more to come. We hope that the knowledge gained on this mission will benefit life on Earth and that the data collected will help send humans to new destinations. Whether it is living in low Earth orbit for one year or a two-year mission to the Red Planet, I've learned that human potential is limitless and we should never stop pushing the boundaries of exploration. Again, I thank you for this very special award. I'd also like to thank the people at NASA who work day and night back on Earth to keep us safe in space and to recognize all the great scientists who came before me to make life in space possible.